For cheap GTA Shower cards and other games, check out G2A.com, there's a link in the description, and of course use my discount code Azuo for an extra discount. Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the all-new Sea Sparrow helicopter, of course releasing to GTA Online with the San Andreas Supersport series update. Now as I'm making this video, this helicopter has not been released yet into GTA Online, but hopefully by the time this video gets uploaded to my channel, it will have been released. But the idea of this video, apart from showcasing this helicopter, is to go over a few things you guys need to know about this before you buy it in GTA Online. So hopefully by the time you guys are watching this video, this helicopter will be available to purchase in GTA Online. But either way, once this helicopter is released, it will cost a price of $1,815,000. Of course, the Sea Sparrow is the only helicopter released in the San Andreas Supersport series update. The other 15 vehicles releasing in the update are, of course, all cars. So this helicopter can be found on the Elitish Travel website, and there is only one price for this, $1,815,000. Of course, unlike most helicopters, which have been added in the last few updates, there is no buy it now price and trade price, there is just the one price. But interestingly enough, this helicopter was going to have a trade price. In the update files, there are lines of code which show this was going to have two separate prices. But for whatever reason, rocks are removed that trade price, so there is just the one buy it now price. Most likely because this helicopter was initially made for a different update. I'm guessing Smuggler's Run, the plane and air based update. But presumably, this helicopter was cut from that update and released in this one instead. But either way, the Sea Sparrow is a pretty awesome helicopter. In fact, it will become most players' new favorite helicopter once released in GTA Online. Because although $1.8 million may seem like a lot of money, this does have a lot of features. For starters, yes, this helicopter can land on water, as you can see in the gameplay. It has the two buoyancy aids, which means you can touch down on water, as well as get out of it as well, and leave it there if you want to. But it is worth noting that if you do leave it on the open water, like the sea, the waves will easily control it. And as you can see very quickly, you can easily lose it as the waves push it around. But on more still water, it's not so bad. But this ability to land on water makes the Sea Sparrow the first amphibious helicopter that we have in GTA Online. Sure, we have plenty of planes that can do this, like the Tula and the Dodo Seaplane, but these are both planes. And the Sea Sparrow is faster than both of those. We'll be going over its top speed and so on in a few moments, but this is definitely the fastest amphibious aircraft that we have in GTA Online. And for that reason, for many of the smugglers run missions, this is definitely an aircraft that I'd recommend using for those, especially when the packages are located in water. Anyway, now up next, I'm sure it goes without saying, but if you want to purchase one of these, yes, you'll have to own a Smuggler's Run hangar, because that's where it's going to be stored. This cannot become a Pegasus vehicle, where you can just call them up and call it in if you want to use it. You have to physically own a Smuggler's Run hangar. But of course, that means that you can store it inside, and it can be customized. And although this doesn't have a huge amount of customizations, there are a few things you can do to it, such as fitting weapons. So from stock, it won't have any weapons whatsoever, but there are two weapon upgrades, those being the 50 cal machine gun, which unfortunately no, doesn't fire explosive rounds, but you can also fit homing missiles to it, which I would personally recommend fitting. And I'll show you guys why that is in a few moments. You can also respray this helicopter as well, and there is both a primary and secondary color. The primary color changes the majority of the helicopter, pretty much everything but the buoyancy aids at the bottom. Those can be changed with the secondary color. So that means you can create some pretty cool styles and combinations through doing this. And of course, whilst customizing this helicopter, all the standard upgrades are also available. Things such as the engine upgrades, armor upgrades, and so on. But annoyingly, whilst customizing this, you will not find the option to fit countermeasures, because for some reason, those are not available for this helicopter. So that is worth bearing in mind if you want to buy this, of course, whilst flying around in GTA Online. Unfortunately, if someone does fire a homing missile at you or something along those lines, you'll be completely unprotected. 
Anyway, but as you guys can see in the gameplay, right now I'm firing a few homing missiles, and these, like I said, are definitely the weapon option to select, because as you can see, you can just fire missile after missile after missile with very little delay whatsoever, and you have an unlimited amount as well. Now, of course, with most of the recently added helicopters, this is a pretty standard feature, Whereas with some of the old ones, and most importantly the Buzzard, which is most similar to this helicopter, which again we'll go in more detail about in a few moments, it doesn't have the same rate of fire as this. As I'm sure you guys already know, if you frequently use the Buzzard, that can only fire two missiles at a time before you have to wait for them to explode before you can fire two more. And yes, the new Sea Sparrow in some ways is very similar and does compete with the Buzzard, which before could be argued as one of the best helicopters we had in GTA Online. It was one of the fastest, but this has a very similar top speed, achieving speeds between 135 and 140 miles an hour. But the Sea Sparrow isn't just quick, it is also very agile and nimble as well, just like the Buzzard. So whilst flying around, whether it be in a 1v1 style battle or just flying around in the city and amongst the buildings, this is definitely one of the better helicopters to choose because it's easy to control and quick as well. Now I know for a fact there are going to be a load of questions regarding the Sea Sparrow versus the Buzzard, so let's go over a few comparison things in this video. So the Buzzard is the slightly cheaper one, costing just 1.75 million as opposed to the 1.8 million to buy the Sea Sparrow. But it's worth noting the Buzzard does come weaponized from standard, having both the machine gun turrets and the rockets fitted, whereas the Sea Sparrow isn't weaponized from standard, and although you can upgrade it and fit weapons, you you can't have both options, you can only have one or the other. Both helicopters are very similar in size and both only take up a small one slot space in the smuggler's run hangar. But whereas the Buzzard has space for four passengers, two passengers in the front and two in the back of course able to hang off the sides and use weapons, the Sea Sparrow only has space for two passengers in the front. Passengers cannot sit or hang off the side or on the buoyancy aids, which is a little disappointing. And then of course, if you're a CEO in GTA Online, you have the option to select the Buzzard from the CEO vehicles menu, whereas the Sea Sparrow currently isn't on that list. Although I'm pretty sure with the release of the next update, which is supposedly going to be a business update, the Sea Sparrow will most likely be added, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. Now I guess it's also worth talking about, although it is a little disappointing, that neither helicopter, buzzard or sea sparrow is explosive resistant, so yes, just one homing launcher or sticky bomb will blow up both of them. And very quickly before we get on to the speed test and comparison between the Sea Sparrow and the Buzzard, the Sea Sparrow also has its very own icon which will be displayed on the radar and on the map as well, of course meaning other players in the session will be able to see whether you're flying the Sea Sparrow or not. Of course take that how you will, whether it's a positive or negative. Anyway, so moving on next to the straight line speed test comparison between the Sea Sparrow and the Buzzard, we're going to be doing this down at the airport running the usual drag race and I'll be starting the two helicopters off in stationary. They'll have to take off and reach the other side of the runway first. So the Sea Sparrow is up first. This, by the way, is fully customized and upgraded, and it reaches the other side of the runway in 20.05 seconds, reaching a top speed of 135 miles an hour. Whereas for the Buzzard, of course, this cannot be customized or upgraded. You can change the paint color, but you can't upgrade the engine or anything along those lines. So this is completely standard. And because of this, you might be able to guess the results, but yes, this was a little slower, only a second slower though, putting in a time of 21.22 seconds, reaching a top speed of 131 miles an hour. Now it's worth noting that even when the Sea Sparrow is standard, it is still a little faster than the Buzzard. I don't have a comparison to share with you guys in this video, but it still beats it by a few milliseconds. Anyway, but there we go. So the all new Sea Sparrow then is faster than the favorited Buzzard in GTA Online. It's just as agile and easy to fly around as well. So I can easily see the new Sea Sparrow being one of the new favorite helicopters available in GTA Online. It definitely lives up to its price and has a few unique features of its own, such as being able to land in water. The Buzzard though still does have a few advantages over the Sea Sparrow, such as having space for more passengers, having two weapon options available from standard and so on. But if you guys are looking to run your smugglers run hangar business that I would definitely recommend considering the new Sea Sparrow as it can be pretty useful for many of those supply missions. And I can't believe I forgot to mention this earlier on in the video, but of course the Sea Sparrow is a throwback and retro vehicle from past GTA titles, both GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas. 
Rockstar love to reintroduce old vehicles from past GTA titles, and this vehicle is one of those. Anyway, but there we go then guys, with that being said, those then are the things that you guys need to know about this helicopter before you buy it in GTA Online. Of course, I want to get your thoughts and feelings on this, what do you guys think about the Sea Sparrow, so go ahead and leave a comment right now. If you guys could also drop a like on this video, it would of course be greatly appreciated, and it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.